too often when schools bring technology into the classroom, they just use technology as part of that same old way of thinking to deliver information to the learner. We want to see technology not as a way of delivering information, but as a tool that lets kids create and explore and experiment. <laughs> Dr. Mitchell Resnick is a professor of learning research at the Media Lab at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He's also the director of MIT's lifelong kindergarten research group. He takes what others may consider child's play to a whole other level. We've gotten a lot of our inspiration from the way that children learn in kindergarten. But in kindergarten, children do start to develop as creative thinkers. They're constantly designing and creating things in collaboration with one another. Unfortunately, after kindergarten, things often change, and we don't give kids those same opportunities to design and create and invent. In seeing kindergarten as a model for lifelong learning, Mitch devotes his time to developing technology and tech-related opportunities. He engages children in activities that encourage them to design, create, and express themselves. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could add other sounds in the middle, like every time it changes direction, it could say something. Mitch has had an ongoing collaborative relationship with the Lego group since 1985. This is the newest robotics kit we worked on with Lego called the WeDo. He's helped take children's favorite building toys to new heights, adding programmable robotic parts to them to make them move, react, and communicate. Here's some examples of projects built with a programmable brick. There's a sculpture that looks like it's not doing much, but the louder I talk, the faster it moves. So this uses a sound sensor, and the volume of the sound controls the speed of the motor. Mitch is always engaged in whatever he's doing, and each day, if you watch him, he'll be meeting with sponsors at one point and then another point sitting down with a kid on the floor and helping them create something. Another innovation from Mitch's team at MIT is Scratch, a website and online community where users can program interactive stories, games, and animations and share them with others. Then others can try out what they've created and give them feedback, advice, and suggestions. In that process, they learn a lot of important math, technology, and engineering ideas. Currently, the site has over two million projects from all over the world and is used at home and in classrooms. We've seen it used in science classes where kids will use Scratch to do science experiments. In 1993, Resnick's group at MIT and the Computer Museum started what's become the Intel Computer Clubhouse Network. The clubhouses in the U.S. and other countries are places where children and teens from low-income communities can go to learn and think creatively with new technologies. We know that kids are going to learn the most when they work on things they really care about, that they're passionate about. Here? You just have to press the key. Oh my God. And of course, kids have many different interests, so we need to support many different paths so that all kids can follow their own interests and work on things they care really deeply about, and in the process, learn the most. When young people are given the opportunity, suddenly you'll see their face light up. I have an idea. I know what I want to make. Mitch Resnick, to me, is a person who is following his passions, and I'm really glad that I had an opportunity to work with him so that I can see what goes into creating a space where you can have your ideas, pursue them, and encourage others to do the same. I've always liked the line from John Dewey, the great educator and philosopher, who said that the purpose of education is not just learning to make a living, but learning to make a life. What I find most satisfying is when young people can you know, use new technologies and new activities to contribute to the communities around them to, in fact, make a life for themselves.